And now a message from the President of the United States, George W. Bush. Good morning. Though I do not think it is morning, I believe I'm still asleep, trapped in the worst nightmare you can imagine. See, in my nightmare, the Democrat Party has gained control of both houses of Congress, which I know is ridiculous because Carl Wolver never let that happen. But it feels so real. And also, Don Rumsfeld, the finest defense secretary in the history of our country, has resigned from the office. And nobody except me can see how much of great progressing and victorying he has brought us in Iraq. I I've got to wake up. And I'm now going to pour a bucket of wa ice cold water on my head. That did not help, apparently, because I am still here. Let me try this. That didn't work either. Did you air horn for me, sir? Dick Cheney, I can't wake up from a torturous nightmare. Well, you've got to, sir. It's time for your meeting with Nancy Pelosi, the new majority leader of the House. No, no, no. Democrat Party. No, I'm Mr. President. Voters, sir, sir. <laughs> Sir, Mr. Mr. President, you must have dozed off. Oh, thank God. I had a horrible nightmare. Democrat voters, they were everywhere. It's all right, sir. It was all just a dream. Are you ready for that meeting with Nancy Pelosi? No! <laughs> Please, Lord God, let me wake up. <laughs> oh. It's very awkward. Please, God. For a complete archive of the President's weekly addresses, visit weeklyradioaddress.com.